All right, Trev, what game are we playing today? All right, we're playing Kingdom Builder. <laughs> Sweet. And do you like Kingdom Builder? I do. It's a fun game. And like I... most other games, my dad introduced me to this one. <laughs> That's right. Well, cool. Well, what's Kingdom Builder all about? It's about building your kingdom. And by building kingdoms, you place these little tiny houses that look a lot like settlements and settlers of Catan. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And you've got quite a few of them. Mm hmm But then I know, also notice there's a lot of other stuff. Yep. So this is your main board. You pick four of these for every game. There's a bunch of them you can pick. Each one has its own, like, places you can set your um, buildings and special, I don't know what you call them, but they give you special abilities if you build around them. Oh, cool. Um, so, so you only pick four. Yeah, I'll just take the top four. But, uh, and then you set them out. And that's your land. And that's your board. Oh, how cool. Yeah. So it'll vary every time depending on which ones you put and how you arrange them. Nice. Um, so like I said, each separate section has its own little special ability. This one is Oasis. And they all give you different things. This is what these are. You, you find the one for that section, I'll find the boat here, and then you can put it on the side of the board here to tell you that this is the section with this power. I mean, what's the objective? Well, see, that's the cool part, because that's what these cards come in. These are your objectives, and you pick three of them for every game. Oh. So not only do you pick four different boards every game, you pick three of these multiple cards every game. So what are they like? Well, I'll just pick three at random, and I'll read them to you. Sweet. Let's so, babies over. our goals for this game are hermits, which are create many settlement areas. Um, that means, like, if you have a settlement here, here, and, like, over here, you get three different points, or three different gold points for each one of the separate settlements not connected. Oh, cool. So you okay. just don't want it to be continuous is what the Hermits is. Okay. Fisherman is build sediments next to water. So you'll get, um, it says, one gold for each of your own settlements built next to a water space. So this would be a point, this would be a point because they're both next to water. This would be a point, but this one isn't a point because it's not next to water, okay. etc. And our last one is discoveries. Build uh, settlements on many horizontal lines. So the horizontal lines are these ones. The ones with like, not the jagged edges, but the, you know, hexagonal X's. <laughs> okay. um, so that's like, if I build one here, 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 and here, that's four points, because they're on four different rows. Oh, so, so those just random cards are gonna tell you what you're trying to accomplish in this game to earn points. Basically, yeah. Sweet. All right, so how do you go about placing your settlements on the board? Okay, so at the start of your turn, you'll have a card, and it will be a certain terrain on the board. This is sand, and so these are the yellow spots. What you can do is at the start of, when you have a card, you have three settlements to play on that terrain. So I could pull it here, here, and here. The rule is, if, you're, if you have a settlement that's adjacent to a terrain you just drew, you have to place it there. So, for instance, if I had settlements here, and, yeah, if I had a settlement here, I couldn't put it here because I'm already adjacent over here. Oh. So I have to play it over here until I'm not adjacent to one of these. So playing your strategy on where to place is very important. Right. Cool. Um, at the end of your turn, you'll draw another card that'll give you another terrain for your next turn. So, so you, you can plan out what you're gonna do. I like that. Well, that seems pretty simple then. All you do is place three and move on, trying to accomplish those yeah, these objectives. Goals here. I mean, yeah, but people block you. And other people have powers, and you have powers which tweak the rules, kind of. Ooh, so powers? What do you mean by powers? Powers are what I mentioned earlier, where are these tokens here. Oh, let's and check them out. the things on the side of the board. So how you get a power is you build next to one of these gold-lined hexes. Okay. So if I built for a sand spot here, I would take this token and it would give me a special power. But you can only use your power once per turn. That's why you take a token so you can remember when yep. you use your power. So you just time. flip it over when you know you've used it. Okay, and what do those powers let you do? This power lets you take 
one of your existing buildings and move it to a water space. If you are not adjacent to any water space, you can put it anywhere. If you are adjacent, you have to put it where it's adjacent. Right, like normal the, rules. Right. Okay. This next one lets you take a house, a settlement from your um, stash over here and put it on a grass space, anywhere. I mean, as long as it's adjacent. If you've got something next yeah. to a grass, you have to place it there. Okay. Right. This one it lets you place a fourth settlement for whatever card you drew. So if I drew a grass card, instead of playing three, you can play four if you use that power. Nice. This one lets you, if you have three settlements in a row, you can place you can place a place a fourth settlement on uh, the line for here or here because nice. there's three in a row, so you can place a fourth. But again, those four are all dependent upon which four maps made up the board, right? That's there's right, because there's else. more powers for different boards, and if you wanna, if you're wondering about the powers, you can you know read the rule book. <laughs> all right. I mean, well, cool. we're so telling you to read the rule book. <laughs> So you get points at the end of the game based off of those objectives and right. how you played it all out. So a lot of variability, but a lot of replayability too then, huh? Yeah. Well, sweet. So what would you rate Kingdom Builder? I would give it a 4. A big 4-0. All right. Thanks, Trev. Bye.